All right, insiders, we are back with another edition of News Flash. And I have to be very honest with you. I am developing a keen awareness of how difficult it is to be a creator. Not only do I have to get all the lighting right, but I've received feedback from on high that I have to remain in the center of the video. So I'm starting from scratch. I'm going to be bringing you more and more news updates throughout these news flashes, but I'm also gaining more and more respect for this community and all of the efforts that you put in to make the platform exactly what it is. So with that, let's get into some updates. First up, we have some exciting news around latency once again. And of course, we're talking about studio updates. Up until now, creators had to wait about two days to see the data coming in around the search terms and URLs that were the pathway to actually getting to your content. Now though, you're gonna see the search terms pretty much immediately after a video is uploaded and at the channel level, you'll see the data within about a day. Like many, if not most of us, you've probably been missing Tom. Well, you can look back on a great interview Tom did with Tim from Video Creators, where they discussed some common roadblocks that creators face and how to overcome them. We'll leave a link in the description. Now we have a guest, James, who's gonna take you through a new native way to integrate info cards within Studio. James is going to take us through a sneak peek uh, of what the team has been looking at uh, to the benefit of you, our creators. So I've got my video here for the demo, and I'm now going to come add an info card. And you know I've got to promote our favorite channel, Creator Insider. There we go. Hello, Insiders. Learn more about YouTube. And then let's pick a spot. I'm gonna put this right about, let's say three seconds here. And actually I'll move it up just a little bit to be at the beginning of the audio there. And yeah, um, and then I'll save it. You could add another one, another card if you wanted to here. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's a new info cards editor. Check it out soon. Thank you, James. Next up, we have some great news around the audience tab within Studio Analytics. So what you're going to be able to see is videos that your audience has watched on YouTube that aren't your own. So you're gonna be able to see the other things your audience is looking at. This gives you a great opportunity to get to know your audience better. It also allows you to dig into what other video topics and formats that might suit your channel. Think about this in terms of the titles, the thumbnail styles and the collaboration opportunities that you might want to explore. Now, we're going to be rolling out this card over the next couple of weeks, but a couple of things to note. You might not see it because your channel may not have enough data or if you're making content that's appealing to kids, you're not going to have access to this either. We'll be rolling it out over the next couple of weeks, so be on the lookout. And of course, who won the trivia contest from last week? And yes, Okay, I, I hear the winner is coming to us shortly in a sealed envelope. envelope. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have it here. Let me put on my glasses. It was a really tough contest, I have to say. But this week's winner was Marco VP hyphen VE, who correctly identified the answer to the question, which was, which video was the first to reach 1 million views on the platform? The month, November, the year 2005. The video, a Nike ad featuring Ronaldinho. So thanks so much, uh, Marco, for engaging. Um, this week's question is, which video is currently the most liked video on the platform? Dig into those comments as quickly as you can and be the first with the right answer and you will be the winner of this week's News Flash contest. Thanks.